and the more digital based. We'll discuss online advertising in more detail. We're joined by Alice Manners, Chief Executive of Internet Advertising Bureau Australia. Alice, great to have you on the show today. Thanks for having me. So just tell us a bit, I guess, kick it off with some of the most crucial things that the Internet Advertising Bureau does. So one, we track online ad revenues and last year was a fantastic year because for the first time we surpassed television advertising revenues, um, which was interesting. The other area which really reinforces that is around online audience measurement because you need that to, to support the investment that goes in it. And anything really around interactive advertising, I guess the challenge is that gets broader and changes every day with what we do. Before we dig into revenue and, mm. uh, <laughs> and uh, audience there. measurement, just tell us, now you represent most of the major players in the market. Who's not on board that you'd like to get on? Look, so, when, when we first started, it was IAB was very much a publisher association. Last year, um, and when I started, which was about 18 months ago, we looked at changing that because we had advanced so far. So we need to represent the entire industry. So our positioning now is around big tent. We have publishers, we have marketers, we have technology companies, as well as agencies as part of that mix. So we need everyone involved now. So if you're talking dollars of the billions that it earns, <laughs> how much of that revenue is represented by your members? Sort of, oh, we're talking 80, 90 percent, not think so. quite as much, but up there somewhere. Yeah, up there definitely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Give us some more colour about the growth, the revenue growth you saw in the past sort of year. So the revenue growth, our two stars are mobile and video. They're definitely rising and will continue to do. And the best way to put it is not in percentages, but mm. how it compares to other mediums. So mobile now as a total has surpassed total magazines as well as outdoor. Um, video has surpassed cinema or double cinema. So it shows you that marketers now are confident to invest in digital, which is a fantastic place to be. Um, Alice, I think your last reported uh, numbers were September quarter, 1.2 billion. Are we on track for 5 billion? Are we going to crack that one soon? We are. I'm slightly bullish. So we ended <laughs> up last financial year at 4.4 billion. I'm comfortable we're going to get very close to $5 billion with that. So at the moment we're at about one, um, 4 in $10 of di advertising dollars go to digital. We're going to keep pushing that forward, which brings us to new interesting challenges. But, do, you know, is, is it a challenge to continue to, to grow that momentum as well, given, given the, such the strength in momentum you've seen over the past couple of Absolutely. years? Absolutely. I mean, if you think last year, year on year, it was 22% growth. Every year it's in those high 20s. To continue that momentum needs to show that proof in, in the medium. And it's constantly changing in terms of the different formats that happen there. So what we talk about now, it's no longer about just being the biggest or the best. It's about how we work cross-platform with television or with other mediums to continue the growth. You talk about the four in ten dollars being spent in your sector. Um, we've had some people come in here and say, look, there has been a, the rush to digital has been too much. They've, they've abandoned some other media too quickly. I mean, that's usually people from more traditional media. But, <laughs> but we've had some uh, media people saying too, yeah, look, we need to be very careful about where we're spending. We so are your members aware of that, that it, it could be a pullback at some stage I mean, in there evaluation? Are, there are certain things from a global perspective that we need to manage. And as the IAB in Australia, we look at them specifically for this market. So when you look at brand safety and what comes around that to ensure that marketers are confident in investing in the medium. Because, you know, as with every industry, there's an element of fraud so that's a very high priority for us measurement has been key to what we do and that's where the IAB is invested heavily so a lot of when we look at audience measurement so what people are doing online has been very much around desktop now we know a lot of our publishers have over 75 percent of their traffic coming from mobile it's huge that's a huge number but we weren't able to measure it so we've invested a lot of money into that piece to be able to show measurement across your mobile phone across the tablet as well as a desktop and continue to do that and when we have those proof points for marketers and agencies we see that flow of investment continue just talk to us a bit about mobile as well i mean that's no doubt giving your members much bigger audiences but it comes with challenges right of course it does so the two challenges are one if you look at consumer usage it's really high as i mentioned if you look at investment it is somewhat lower and 
that there's nothing wrong with that. A marketer needs those proof points. So the first one was to be able to measure it, which we've done. And through Nielsen, who's our um, Australian currency for measurement, we're moving towards, by the middle of this year, being able to give a marketer one number, which represents across all of those three devices. The other one is still around creative. That's a challenge because the mobile device is very different to the desktop. Mm. So how do you be relevant and not be creepy? And I think the <laughs> one challenge for marketers now is I don't think enough people are leveraging location-based targeting. I think that's the beauty of mobile and hopefully 2015 we'll see more of it. Why do we have to wait till 2016 for daily ratings? I mean, one of TV, TV's big selling points is you get the ratings every that's morning, right. 9 o'clock. Why That's can't right. You do it quicker? Uh, what I've learned since joining the IAB is that measurement is a very substantial investment, and it's we have so much data. It's important to make sure that we get the right data into people's hands. So um, no other market has done this. And I think that's the other beautiful thing about Australia. We're ahead of the rest of the world. There is only one other market in the globe that's anywhere near us in terms of what we expect and demand from online audience measurement. Um, and it's not the US. It's actually Italy of all places. Really? So is education still a big part of it going forward? Just it educating people be. on digital? Completely. Because you have new different opportunities arrive. So what does native mean? What does programmatic mean? And you constantly, we're great in terms we have these buzzwords and new things, but we shoot ourselves in the foot a little bit. So education will always need to be there. And do you give advice to your members on quoting their audience numbers? Gee, we get some, some, so many different numbers. You get, you know, uniques and you... You get mm. Australian uniques and you get browsers and you get um, time spent on pages and all this sort of stuff. Do you have guidelines for them? We or do. If they remember they can just... We do. And for the entire industry, and it's a big part of what we do. Um, and sometimes I get in trouble because I say it might be the dull bit, but it's the critical bit of what we do because people need those standards and guidelines. And that's why we have a currency. Some people see currency as a bit of a dirty word, but really we need that because put it into context to other mediums, it's still very new as what it is and we'll continue to need that. Crucial couple of years for the industry. Uh, Alice, thanks so much for joining us Thank on the show you. today. Alice Manners there, Chief Executive of IAB Australia. We do have to